Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberonin here again, and today I'm going to be going over Kami in One's Justice 2 Remix Edition. So, Kami, just like every other character, is basically just a stronger version of herself in this version of the game. Uh, in the recent updates of the vanilla version of My Hero One's Justice 2, her combos were kind of severely nerfed. I'm not sure if they've fixed them recently or anything, but uh, that certainly hasn't happened here, and they've definitely actually been buffed. And there honestly isn't too many changes, just a few small ones that end up making quite a big difference. So one of the bigger ones is that her red attack can actually be comboed off of now. It puts them in an OTG state, which is an off to groundless state. So you can actually just attack from the air and do that kind of thing. And another change that I think makes sense and should have been in the game regularly is her quirk 2 in the air actually does the same thing as her quirk 2 on the ground. Because it's the same look, like she sits on your shoulders and launches you in the ground. That version puts you in the floor, but this version just used to splat you, but now it actually does, like, put you in the ground properly. And other than a few, like, other minor changes, those are the two big ones. So there's, like, slight changes to, like, the hitbox and adjustments of these things, which allow things to connect like this. But, uh, yeah, and we'll see how those all work when we do combos together. Um, there's some slight changes, you know, to hitboxes and recovery of stuff. So this is a move that recovers, like, a bit faster if it's on block or, um, on whiff. So she can kind of throw this out, because if it does hit the opponent, like, from a out here she can actually combo off of it so it's a bit of a tool that she can just like throw out kind of like a projectile just to you know catch the opponent and then get a combo from it um just like a tilt quirk one but just you know a different version of it and uh you know her tilt quirk one's still very good uh actually her quirk one got a slight change i think it's a bit better at wall splatting now because see now it can actually be used for wall splats it used to be kind of garbage at it but now she can you know use it properly which is really handy and her plus ultra one actually wall splats now, which I believe it didn't used to. Which is kind of stupid, because it looks very much like it would wall splat, you know, when she throws you at the wall. And now it does actually wall splat as you would have imagined. So a lot of them are quality of life changes, but like, changes that you should have expected, or should have, like... That you would have expected in the regular game, but kind of just weird things that didn't happen. So, all of those changes together. Also, there's a change to like, the parry, it does a little bit more damage, but you still can't combo off of it. Um, without, like, supports and special timing and stuff. So, with all of those changes together, how does her combos and how does everything look with her? So, she actually has very long combo paths now, and I'll just show you a few examples of the things you can do. So, the main extensions that you have is the string into the yellow attack into her quirk 2 string. That's one extension you have. You also have the regular attack string into till quirk 1, or you have the air attack string into, into um into the tilt attack into tilt quirk 1 which only works on certain points of the screen or at certain timings um yeah like if you're near a wall or something and she also has yellow attack into quirk 1 and she also has red attack into the air attack and you usually, usually use that to end combos so, putting all that together can be quite hard to see which, what you want to put where and how you can put them without having the opponent get meteor blown. And how I found works best is doing starting off with the yellow attack into the quirk 1 and then going for just the, instead of doing a yellow attack, just leave out the yellow attack there or else it'll meteor blow. And then go for that and then go for the attack string into this and then, oh oops, this, oops I didn't mean to jump there. Okay, let's try that again. Yellow attack into quirk 1, attack string into the quirk 2 string, attack string into till quirk 1, red attack, and then end the combo. And then you have 11,300 damage. So yeah, pretty big damage for, uh, for uh, zero dash cancels or anything. Which, compared to the compared to the original game, that's big damage, but, like, honestly, that's just, like, slightly above average in a remix version of the game. And, uh, that is a very long combo, and it can be easy to mess up if, you know, like, slightly do the timing wrong or mess up which order you do things in. So there are, like, slightly simpler combos that also do really big damage. So if you want to simplify it and just go in for the, like, yellow attack and then go in straight in for the Quirk 2 string, this will also do pretty good damage. You can even just, like, leave out that other part and just do these ones. And leave out that other one, because it can sometimes miss depending on where you are. And even this is going to be really big damage, 10,400. Like, it is less, but it's still really big, chunky damage. 
you can maybe leave out the support part of the combo and just go for the... And yeah, sometimes that misses depending on your timing. But uh, yeah, your max damage I found is 11,400 or whatever we got before. But obviously because, you know, you're not always just going to be getting clean hits off of everything. You're not going to be getting clean punishes and just attacking the opponent like this all the time. So you are going to get random hits. And that's a good thing about Kami having all these combo paths. She can really combo quite effectively off of anything. Like if you get a random, like, Tilkwork 1, you can get a combo of that super well by doing something like this. It is going to be less damage, obviously, because, you know, she's not getting, like, the, like, raw clean hit. But, um, oh, this isn't even going to be the full combo. But, like... My point still shows she can still get a full proper combo off of it. She could have even added this um, this extra extension in there. But uh, yeah, she's going to get big damage off of basically anything. Even the red attack, because the Quirk 2 launches in the air now, she can do this and actually combo off of the red attack without using supports or anything. So now, look, the opponent's on the ground, and we can go in and do stuff like this. Oh, oops, that didn't work. Um, If I do just the support one... A lot of it is trial and error with Kami. You need to see what works where and what order you can do things in. Because it is very weird how are things linked to together differently depending on how she's like standing and what order things are in. But off of a red attack, you get guaranteed 9,000 damage. And keep in mind, this is an infamous red attack for traveling really far, having good tracking, and just being a really scary move. So the fact that she can combo off of it like easily into 9,000 damage consistently is really awesome. Um, you know, same thing goes, if she, you know, hits you with one of these, and she combos it into it, it's gonna be the same thing. If she gets a yellow attack, because, you know, maybe you try to armor through something of the opponents. Because this yellow attack is actually really good now, she runs forward really far, and, you know, it's actually got decently good tracking now, and it's, you know, actually a proper move that you can use. You can actually combo with that now, and get things, so, yeah, honestly, she's just able to get damage off of really anything. And usually with Kami, you like to run supports like Nezure and Jiro and stuff, but honestly, you don't really need to if you're going to be able to like run through all your combo routes with any, without any dash cancels anyways. If you're going to get big damage, what's the point of using a support if it's going to be around the same amount of damage anyways? So yeah, that's the basics of Kami. Um, also with Plus Ultra, um, actually, I might need to do it from the other side because she does go forward a, an annoying amount. So pretend I've done a long combo into my Plus Ultra or something, you know, add some damage. And then we get this, and go into a wall splat. Now we're on the wall, we can do something like this. She is a little bit limited with her combos on the wall, because, you know, she likes to do wall splats. Like, the floor splats count as a wall splat. So, things can kind of get messed up that way. But she can still get pretty decent damage, depending on what you want to go for. So, you know, if you've done a long combo, and you've, like, see the you're kind of in a position where you can get a wall splat from the plus ultra one. You can go for that, does a big chunk of damage, and you'll get a guaranteed wall splat. Maybe you can do something like this. Oh, and one last thing with her combos is she can actually reset her combos with um, quirk one in the air. Because unlike characters where resets don't really exist in this game, Kami does actually get a reset. Her damage doesn't reset, unfortunately. She still has the scaling of the previous combo. But, when she resets a combo, it does actually reset her quirk too. So she can do something like this. Oh wait, no. Uh, you have to end it a little bit earlier because of the, um, they're in the air. So then you can do something like this. And after your long combo, if you've ended it like that, you will actually get the re-wall splat. So I'll show what that looks like in an actual combo here. Um, here let me just do one quickly. You're going for stuff like this. So see, I've already gotten that extension of the combo. So I've already used the wall splat, but if I do something like this... And I reset the opponent and, you know, they just decide to... The only way they can get out of this is by sidestepping or something. And yeah, you're not going to get too much extra damage off of it, but you can add a little bit... Hey, wait, let me just think what would be... If I'm getting this... And I'm going in here, how can I get a big chunk of damage? I guess I can just do something like... Yeah, that's a pretty decent chunk of damage. Okay, let's try that. Oops. Into this. 
Excuse me. Enter the do 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 do. Enter the quirk two string. So I've already gotten the floor splat. Then I jump in the air. And then I do this. So it was already like basically nearly the full damage of the combo. But now I added an extra 2600 to the end of the combo. So I didn't actually look at how much damage the combo had done beforehand. But say if it had already done the 10,000 or close to the 11,000, then you add the 2600 um, reset on the end. It doesn't sound like too much, but you're adding, making the combo go from what would have been like 10,000 and a bit to 12,600 or 13,000, which is really high damage meterless combo for any character, even in this version of the game. Like, that she can get that consistently just with all of a little reset is, yeah, pretty impressive. And, uh, yeah, honestly, we've gone over the plus ultra and how she can combo off of basically, or <laughs> literally everything. And her plus ultra 2 is the same. And, uh, yeah, the red attacks and everything. And there's, yeah, there's not honestly not too much else to came in. My controller did just disconnect, which is annoying. Uh, excuse me, can you come back? Hello, hello. Maybe not. Anyways, luckily I've gone over... Oh, yeah, there we go. Luckily I've gone over everything I think we need to. But, uh, yeah, that's Kami. Let's do a quick combo into Plus Ultra 2 to end out the video. But, yeah, that's Kami. She's just a combo monster like she was in the regular version of the game. But now she's just a little bit better at it. She's slightly better at her job. She gets more consistent combos off of almost any touch. And, uh... Yeah. She's just an even better version of herself. Now she gets kind of things that you would have expected her to usually get, like a wall splat out of the air. A quirk one will wall splat. Um, her quirk two in the air will floor splat. Her plus ultra will wall splat. And she's just got a lot of quality of life changes that make her a little bit like more fluid and smooth to play with. But she's still a crazy character and just a little bit more crazy. Anyways, thanks for watching all the way through this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.